Okay, if you're doing any kind of marketing where you're sending people to blog posts, videos, articles on your website, something like that, then you want to be able to track who's coming from where. Because if you're pushing the links out for people and driving them to your website and you're pushing them out across a range of different social media networks, how do you know where they're coming from? How do you know whether to put more effort into Facebook, into LinkedIn, Twitter, wherever those people are coming from? Um, now, if you're doing paid traffic, you can use the conversion metrics and all the different options you have through the paid traffic. But if you're using organic there's not really any way of doing that unless you track links using something like bitly so in this video i'm going to show you how to set that up uh, so that you can see where your traffic is coming from and who's clicking on which link let's have a look Okay, so some of you will have seen or heard of Bitly. You've probably seen the links floating around online. Usually it's used more commonly for link shortening. So if you've got a really long URL, it just shortens it down into a little handy little snap. In this process, we're gonna use it to track links like we said in the first introduction there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up to the top panel here and click on create. And then I'm going to take a blog post uh, URL from our website. So if I go here, you can see we've got a blog post, which is six nifty gadgets under £50 for mobile phone video. If you haven't read that article, go and check it out. I'm going to copy the link, which is quite a long link anyway. And we're going to pop it in up here, paste long URL. Before I do that, I'm going to add something on the end of this link. So I'm going to add in a hash. Um, so let's just add in hash and then I'm going to add in um, li for LinkedIn okay hash li and then I'm going to copy that go over to bit.ly and pop that in there bit.ly is going to create a link for me so here's the link just here and it's going to allow me to give you give it a title as well so I'm going to call this uh, six nifty LinkedIn. Okay, and I'm going to save that. Okay, now the reason we're adding the hash in there is because LinkedIn, because uh, Bitly doesn't actually have, um, in the free platform at least, the free version of it, it doesn't have a way of setting up lots of different links pointing to the same URL, which is important in this situation. So what we're doing is we're just putting a hash on the end of that URL. It doesn't affect where people are directed to, it just gives it an identifier. So we've now got over here on our dashboard, six nifty LinkedIn, and we've got a URL. We're gonna set up one more just to demonstrate. So I'm gonna go back to my article here and I'm gonna put in at the end here, FB for Facebook instead of LinkedIn. I'm gonna go back to here. I'm gonna create a new short code. And you'll see that it's given it a different short code and a different, and we can give it a different title here as well. So we're going to call it Six Nifty Facebook. And save that. Now, if we come back to our dashboard, you see you've got two different um, uh, sort of link set up uh, with two different URLs. So let's give this a little test. So I'm going to take the LinkedIn clip and I'm going to uh, copy the URL there. Um, I'm going to nip over to a new browser window and I'm going to pop it in. And that will take us to the article. We've gone straight to the article. Let's go back to our Bitly dashboard and just refresh it. And you can see now we've got one link, link, uh, one link click for that particular URL for LinkedIn. So if I, when I'm posting that article on LinkedIn, if I include that URL, I'm gonna know that everyone who clicks on that particular URL has come from LinkedIn. If I use the other URL, it's gonna show that people are coming from Facebook. And you can set that up for your email, you can set it up for various pages on your website, you can set it up for your social media campaigns, and that's gonna allow you to see where the traffic's come from for that particular piece of content and that's it uh, so go and check out uh, bit.ly it's a free account that we've been using for this and that little work around using the hash at the end of the url is going to help you track your links i'm david kilkelly see you next time